Hey everyone, Emily here, and I'm part of Michael Urbino's team to help you make your home a healthy home. Today I want to talk to you about moldy makeup sponges and brushes. Could you be suffering from moldy makeup sponges and brushes? It's much more common than you think. Let's be honest, cleaning a makeup sponge or brush doesn't hit high on the priority list for most people. Then one day you look down and, is that makeup on your beauty blender? Nope, that's actually mold. How did it get there? You accidentally provided the perfect environment for it. Welcome to the world of moldy makeup sponges and brushes. Thanks to its hard nature, mold only needs four main things to start growing. Oxygen, they need very little, which is why they can grow inside of walls. Temperature, 40 to 90 degrees Fahrenheit is preferred, but some species can live in extreme temperatures, which is how mold can grow in refrigerators. Food, they eat pretty much everything, like skin cells, wood, and other organic matter and moisture, the often missing puzzle piece. If these are present on a surface for 24 to 48 hours, a spore can colonize that surface and start the reproductive cycle all over again. When molds and bacteria go rampant on your beauty products, they can cause a long list of health issues. I mean, think about it, you're dabbing mold on your face. Now there are a few steps to take when ensuring you're not a member of the Moldy Makeup Sponge and Brush Club. For brushes and sponges, keep them out of the bathroom. Take away that moisture-rich environment so moles and bacteria don't feel welcome. Also, make sure they're dried completely and then store them in a tightly sealed bag to avoid anything floating around in the air. Next, keep those things clean. For brushes, experts recommend cleaning them at least once a week and at minimum twice a week. Honestly though, the more often is the key to success here. This step also helps with the longevity of the brushes, and with how much they cost nowadays, that's definitely not a bad thing. Makeup brushes. Wash them with a gentle cleanser and hydrogen peroxide at least once a week. And makeup sponges. Wash them with a gentle cleanser and hydrogen peroxide after every use. When it comes to sponges, it depends on the ones that you buy. If for the use once and throw away variety, use them once and throw them away. Their companies made them for single use, not durability, so they aren't as washable as the rest. For reusable sponges, beauty experts recommend cleaning them after every use. As annoying as that sounds, it makes sense. With the products you use on them and how often you use them, they're ultra prone for bacteria and molds. Next step, replace them when they've reached the recommended time frame, not when they're falling apart. No matter how well you clean them, eventually buildup will occur. Experts recommend a few years for brushes and only a few months for sponges, and that's if you're only cleaning them properly. With ongoing research pointing towards negative health effects with moles and bacteria, cleaning your makeup tools is a simple step to combat. All the money spent on beauty products won't matter if you're breaking out or feeling under the weather. Not to mention the money you'll have to spend on doctor visits to figure out why you're not feeling well in the first place. So, take the power away from those pesky microorganisms and stop using moldy makeup sponges and brushes. Health begins at home.